Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. Have you ever used Inkscape to make a design to use in Cricut Design Space? But when you brought it into Cricut Design Space, it was the wrong size? I've done that time and time again, but somebody that watched a recent video told me how to fix it. So my last video was to show you how to fix it. And it fixes it for the project you're working on. But then the next time you go into Inkscape, you have to make the same changes again. Well, I want to take it a step further and show you in this video how you can make those changes to be permanent or at least stay in effect until you no longer want them to. Now, the first couple minutes is going to be somewhat of a repeat so I can show you what I'm talking about. In Inkscape, I want to make a circle. And I'm just going to make this circle. First of all, I'm going to change the units to inches. And I'm going to make my circle five inches in diameter or five by five. Then I'll save this as just circle. Now, if I open Cricut Design Space and I upload that circle, let me show you what happens. Once you insert it into your project, it comes in way too small, 1.76. It was supposed to be five inches. So I'm just gonna leave that circle there to compare to the next one I do. Okay, so I'll delete that. Now here is the fix. And this fix, unless you take further steps, is just temporary. But I'm gonna go to File, Document Properties, and I need to do three things. Under General Display Units, I'm gonna change it to inches. Under Custom Size, I'm going to change it to inches. And then the last thing in this box that says Scale X, I'm going to change the scale to 72. Now I can just click the red X and draw another circle. Now this time, the circle that I draw and save as a 5 inch by 5 inch or 5 inch diameter circle, which I'm going to call Circle scaled. When I bring that into Cricut Design Space, it's going to come in at the right size. We'll go ahead and save that to the images, select it, and insert it into the project. And here it is. It's five inches like it really should be. So that's the temporary solution. Let me show you what can be more of a permanent solution. I'm going to go to Document Properties again. I've already changed the display units to inches, so I'm good there. I've changed the display units to inches here, and I'm at a 72 scale. Now, I can go ahead and save those, and I'm going to show you how in a minute, but since I usually do 12 by 12, Cricut Design Space projects, or I use a 12 by 12 mat, I'm going to go ahead and change the width and the height to 12 inches just so that it comes in at the size of my mat. Now here's the fix. Go to File, Save As, and you need to save it as default SVG, exactly like this, lowercase d. So I'm going to say Save. Now that's on my desktop. Now here's the second part to our fix. Let me go ahead and close out. I want to find Inkscape in my apps file. Here it is. So I can either right click or on a Mac, I click Control, hold it down, and then press my mouse. Now there's going to be several clicks here, but it's super easy. Just follow along or if you want to take notes. Show package contents. Then I'll double click on contents. I'll double click on resources. Double click on share. Double click on Inkscape. And the last one, double click on templates. Now it's going to be easier to read these if I, first of all, Let's make my screen larger, and then let's make it where they're listed. 
Okay, so down here somewhere, it's just going to be default.svg. And here it is right here. So I select it. I'm not really double clicking on it. I select it, and then I wait a minute, and then I click on it again, and it lets me rename it. So I'm going to name this Original Default. And then I'll click it, and that saves it. Moved it down alphabetically. Now what I want to do is go to my desktop and find the default SVG that I created. And I have found it, so I'm going to drag it over, and I'm just going to drop it in here. Now, it says it's been moved to this Mac and will no longer be available in iCloud Drive on any of your devices. I'm okay with that. I really want it in Inkscape. So I'm going to say Move, and then I'll X out of this. So now when I open Inkscape, instead of going to the default and having to change all those properties, this is what I have. So let's test it out. Let's go to that circle again, select it to change the units. Now, you'll probably always have to change it up here, but you don't have to go to Document Properties. So we'll make it 5x5. Five five, and then save, save as. I'm going to name it Circle Scaled. I meant to put Perm for permanent. All right, so we'll save that. Then if I go into Inkscape, and I upload that, Go ahead and save that into Cricut Design Space and insert it into my image. And again, it came in at five inches. Now, typically, once you close out of Inkscape and you open it back up, you have to reset those document properties. But because I saved them in the files of Inkscape, this is always going to come in as a 12 by 12 and scaled for Cricut Design Space. Now let's say you ever want to change it back. Once again, you just find Inkscape in your Finder. Right click on it, or on my Mac, Control and mouse click. Show Package Contents. Let's raise that up a little bit. Double click on Contents, double click on Resources. Double click on Share, double click on Inkscape, double click on Templates. All I would need to do now is find my default SVG, which remember is the new one that I made. Let's find it in the list. Default SVG, I just drag that to the trash. Change the name of the original default SVG back to just default SVG and close it out. Now when I go back into Inkscape, let me show you those document properties. <laughs> well, you can tell right here they've gone back. I'm right back to where I started. So it's not a permanent change, but it is a change that'll stay in effect until you no longer want it to. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, leave them in the comments section below. And until the next video, bye-bye.